All right, hi guys. This is Thunder E from Board of Work. Uh, if you're up like me at uh, 3:27 a.m. in the morning, uh, then you just heard Nokia's announcement at MWC Mobile World Congress 2014, and Nokia basically has come out and announced the long-rumored and long-awaited Windows. I mean, sorry, Android device. Uh, basically, it's the Nokia X. Yes, yeah, so they actually three Nokia X devices, Evie Leaks. We're right once again. So um, Nokia announced the Nokia X, the Nokia X Plus, and the Nokia um, XL. And these are three Android-based devices. Now, the Nokia X should be available now, so according to Nokia, and that's for 89 euros. The Nokia X Plus is 99 euros, and the Nokia XL is uh, 109 euros. Um, those other two will come out in about a month or in about two months or so, I, I believe. Uh, now, the difference between the XL compared to the other ones, the XL is a five-inch display. Uh, and um, th let me actually give you a look. Nokia doesn't have any official press images available yet, but we did take a photo. Um, so that's that's the Nokia X device. We, we've seen it um, already. And this is the XL, um, and that's what the XL will look like. Now, the whole thing with the Nokia X is that basically it's, it runs on Android. They came out and said it runs on Android, and uh, but basically it's giving you a Microsoft experience on Android, uh, so to speak. So it's an Android operating system. Uh, the way it functions, it functions like an uh, like a Windows device. So you can kind of you have you have tiles, you can move along, things like that. Now the services are all Microsoft and Nokia services. So so you have OneDrive um, as a service there, you have Outlook, Skype, and things like that. Um, also, Nokia Hair Maps and stuff. But you can also sideload Android applications on there uh, through your micro SD card. So it's very possible to sideload. Now, no word on how much storage is built in. So I'm thinking probably four, eight gigabytes of storage because of the of the low price point. Um, the XL does have a five megapixel camera on it. Uh, let's see if there's any more images or this image of me. Um, Let's see. No, so those are the only two images we have um, of the XL. So let's go ahead, close that up, and then just continue back here again. Apologize for that. I uh, haven't used this in a while. So uh, the the XL is an Android-based uh, device for Nokia, um, and basically, uh, Alop came out and said this is their strategy moving forward. They actually want to be able to uh, bring the Microsoft experience to uh, different people and move uh, move people eventually from there to Windows. So, to me, I think the XL will still be the the Nokia X line will be a one time line. It's almost like a transition line till uh, Microsoft eats them up. Um, right now, the X w is available, so um, we'll try and pick one up ourselves and see how it is, and you know, side lose some applications and see if you know Android applications will work on there. But um, it's interesting to see that basically Nokia has gone out and said, hey, look, you can pick up the Nokia X. It is an Android device. It, it looks like a Windows device. This is what fanboys have been waiting for for years about talking about having an Android device um, that was built by Nokia. It's not a premium device, so you're not going to get something that has like a, you know, a 1080p display, uh, Snapdragon Quad 800 processor, things like that. No, they didn't even mention any of the specs other than the 5 megapixel camera. All they did was showcase the fact that you could run Android. Basically, it's a low-end Android device. So what this device really does is also go against things like the Moto X. So um, people who are Android users or who are trying to go to you know, buy things like the Moto X can literally look at the Nokia X and say, yeah, you know, we'll take this device uh, because, you know, it's cheaper and um, basically I can sideload applications. Now, they say it will be available worldwide, so it's open to all markets. So it's something that is definitely you're, you're buying unlocked. But the thing here is that we don't know if it's 4G LT or not. Um, if we have those kind of uh, stats or data at all. Um, uh, Nokia still hasn't released a, uh, put up a press release for this, so we're not exactly sure. Um, but in terms of the X, the X, uh, some of the specs of the X are four, is a four-inch device, 840 by 480 IPS display, 512 megs of RAM, four gigabytes of internal storage, expandable and micro SD, three megapixel camera. Um, uh, now, both the X and the XL, uh, X Plus, sorry, are 
forked a a AOSP Android OS, which Nokia says has the advantage of the Android app ecosystem. In terms of applications, Nokia applications you have here, Maps, uh, Mixed Radio, Skype, Outlook will be offered, uh, but no Google Play, of course, obviously on there. Um, the the X and the X Plus are 89 and 99 respectively. So um, you know that is just something interesting to see. They didn't really tell us the differentiation between the X and the X Plus. I'm thinking the X Plus is a dual SIM um, um, X version of the X, uh, and then the XL is five inches. It's got a WVG IPS display. It's got five megapixel camera uh, in the rear two in front. It's got an LED flash, uh, 768 megabytes of RAM, which is kind of strange, instead of just one gigabyte, four, four gigs of um, storage, um, and it costs 109 euros, so uh, it's probably like 140 bucks, I think, or something like that, um, and uh, it's intended for immersion markets, uh, basically. Uh, it's got that fast lane feature, some of those things that you've seen with the Asha line, so it's kind of a mixture of a bit of Asha line, uh, Windows Phone from Lumia, as well as also um, you know, running all this on Android. So, you know, it should be interesting to see how well, you know, this works and handles. Uh, but I think Nokia has pretty much gone out and tried, tried to create something that um, will, will at least stay with them. Now, we don't know if this line will continue into Microsoft, because if it does, it might end. We don't know if this line will stay with Nokia um, as they stay as a separate company. So all this is quite interesting, but we will get you some hands-on um, uh, footage of the device. Sam is at the event um, right now, so he'll be taking some hands-on with the, uh, the X and the XL. Uh, definitely check those out for you guys so you guys can take a look at them and we'll put it up for you. But um, that's pretty much it right now. Uh, and of course, Samsung has the event coming up. Sony did make some announcements, but it was surprisingly, Nokia actually didn't announce any Lumia devices whatsoever. So it seems like that is now going towards Microsoft and they're leaving that for Microsoft to handle, at least when they become part of Microsoft. So most likely during the announcement of Windows Phone 8.1, we will probably see some Lumia devices and something there. But um, it seems like um, the X is pretty much what they announced at uh, MWC. So it's interesting to see, um, guys. Um, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you guys think about the Nokia X? Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually fire up the question and answer. Uh, for some, it's late, it's early in the morning. Um, I'm tired as hell, um, but I'll be uh, I'll be getting some. Uh, but anyway, guys, just let me know your thoughts on the uh, Nokia X, the X Plus, the XL. We'll have some hands-on video for you hopefully soon, um, and also uh, stay tuned for more of our MWC coverage throughout the day. We'll have hands-on videos from other devices as well as, of course, unpacked from Samsung, which was like the Galaxy S5. So, uh, if you guys have any questions or any thoughts about the Nokia X, the XL, and as well as the X Plus, let us know. Those devices uh, retail for 89 euros for the X. Um, the X Plus is 99 euros, and the XL is 109 euros. I made a mistake and tweeted out 129 euros. It's 109. I apologize for that. But let us know your thoughts, guys. And um, this is Thunder E saying thank you. And uh, always enjoy entertainment. I do have to sleep. I'm kind of tired right now. All right. <laughs> Bye, guys.